Ever since the dawn of humanity, we've been tossing shit at each other. We've been making dick jokes and doing absolutely disgusting things to each other. And that extends to the birth of the internet. Ever since the existence of the internet, we've been doing terrible, terrible things to each other. Like sending emails of Goatsy to Two Girls One Cup, Meat Spin, One Man One Jar, The Pain Olympics, all the way to more recent trends like licking the toilet seat on an airplane. All these things amalgamating into the one constant of the internet. There is always going to be something worse. And I think I found something pretty fucking gross. So I saw this video on Twitter of this guy, um, he, and he goes onto an airplane, right? You know, normal airplane things. You go in there, you travel, you get in the tube of death, and then you leave, right? But my man decides that airplane food, not for him. He doesn't like that shit. That shit is straight garbage. And so what he does instead is he goes and puts it into his own hands, in the literal sense, and decides to cook a full course meal in the airplane sink. Now, I wouldn't be the first to admit that this is fucking disgusting. I sat here and I gagged like seven times looking at him, especially at the part when he like grabbed the, the mashed potatoes or whatever that was with his like bare hands and just started shoveling it back into the bag like he was like trying to hide it from the police. Now, you may be wondering, what would incentivize an individual to do something like this? What would spark that curiosity to just suddenly decide to cook inside of an airplane bathroom. And your answer would be views. It, it's it's entirely views. It, it's all pretty much based around uh, shock. But that won't stop me from making fun of it and, and from watching it because it's disgusting and I, I'm i kind of a sucker for that. I, I really kind of like watching really gross things like that. But barring that aside, what else has he done? You, you may think that this was a one-time thing, that he was just like, one time and, hey, I could cook on an airplane. That would be a great idea for a video. And just do that. But no, my dear friend, this was not a one-time thing. He has an entire channel based around cooking in weird and disgusting places. Now, it seems that his airplane shenanigan was a one-time thing. It seems more that his magnum opus, his Hell's Kitchen, appears to be hotel bathrooms, which is somehow even more gross than an airplane bathroom. And oh boy, does this man take advantage of every possible utensil he has to make the most out of his hotel bathroom gourmet meal. I mean, like, shit, man, just look at this. I love you. You love me. We're a happy family with a great big hug and a kiss from me to you. Won't you say I love you too? Twinkle, twinkle, little star. How I wonder what you are Up above the world so high Like a- For those of you that have braved the video, welcome back! For those of you that covered your eyes, probably like me, let me get a recap for you. So, my man took onions, um, sauce cubes, and meat and stuck them into the sink used sink water to make the stew um, and stirred it around with like a witch's cauldron, cut up bread, stuck it in, and just started soaking it all up. Now, I don't know about you, but hotel sinks 
are some of the dirtiest things on the face of the planet. I trust them less than that sketchy motherfucker in the alleyway asking me whether or not I want to get into his white van. And this man decides to just use that as his, like, cooking ground. As his kitchen cutting board. And my god, it's disgusting. Um, I, I keep saying that, but I don't really think there's any other way to phrase that. It's absolutely gross. I feel like by the time he's done with all of that and he leaves the hotel room, the only thing left in that sink is going to be like a super bug, like turbo E. coli. And that E. coli is going to be the end of our civilization. Like one day you're going to wake up and you're going to have super E. coli inside your body because it's bred with all the meat and all the other shit that's in there and it's just gonna spread throughout the world and it's gonna kill everybody and so if we get into a second quarantine blame this guy this guy is the reason that we get into a second quarantine but yeah i just wanted to share this video with you it's absolutely disgusting it's deplorable stuff and i love it um i saw this video a couple days on twitter and yeah i just thought maybe i should share it with you because if i had to watch it you do too so thank you for watching the video and thank you for coming by and uh yeah